Well, the weekend has officially begun, and we welcome you to this 2K Sports presentation of NBA Basketball. Our game tonight featuring the Miami Heat as they go up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. So here is Miami's starting group. The wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Adebayo at center with Martin next to him. And it's Lowry in at the point guard. And for the Celtics, Warford and Porzingis are manning the post position. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's White in at the point guard position. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much trade. Hero or the guard set. And it's Adebayo in at center. And for the Celtics, Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. White and Brown team up as the backcourt. And it's Porzingis in at the five. And the battle of the bigs tonight, Graham. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. list on both ends of the court. White against Lowry. Butler on the wing. Pass to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. For Boston, they've gone two of three from the floor. And talking about Bam Adebayo, he's a guy that loves mixing it up on defense, Benny. Yes, B.A., and that is what turned himself into a defensive player of the year candidate. Bam's high activity is really contagious on this end. And it's Miami's ball. Lowry with it. Now guarded by Brown. Fires for three. Martin with the bucket. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Now here's White. On the wing, Tatum. Out of bounds. It'll be Heat Ball. Heat Ball. Now Lowry, outside Butler, fires the three. That one no good. Tatum against Butler. Tatum's got room. Austin again missing. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. Oh, and then on Butler. Here's Brogdon. It's hauled in by the Heat. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. Here's Butler. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Always looking to out-physical the defender. Butler does it again there. Brogdon, the pass to Brown. And here's Brogdon. To the inside. Here's Porzingis. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Great body control by Porzingis. He sets a good pick and then rolls right into a scoring position. Butler against White. Butler with the ball. Misses in close. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. And the lead just keeps changing hands. It's the Celtics up one. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. They've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. On the court for Miami here in the second. Tyler Hero is out there with Josh Richardson. Then it's Duncan Robinson. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Bryant in at the center position, locking down the middle. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish. Tyler Hero makes winning plays. Hero for three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. Good defense from Robinson. Creates offense on the up. Richardson against Brogdon. 
That's tipped. Stolen by Hero. Hero on the wing. There's the three. The shot misses. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. Takes a 13-footer. Miami grabs the miss. Hero on the wing. Inside, Bryant, the pass to Richardson. And it's all from three-point range. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Celtics. Trailing by two. Pass to Hauser. Let's it go from deep. From behind the arc. He's now one for two with that bucket. It's been neck and neck this entire first half. Yeah. Six from deep so far. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pass to Hero. The three. The rebound, Celtics. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hauser. Launches it. Oh, and Bryant with a block. Three and a half minutes play. And here's Horford for three. Boston, no good that time either. Great Bruner D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Okay, that's a tough shot. Excellent job defensively. Richardson with good athleticism and bounce. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. The Miami Heat are a team of underdogs and overachievers. Their all-star big man, Bam Adebayo, said, quote, we like guys like that with those stories of I got cut, this and that in the third. You know, blue-collar people that had to work for what they got. And, Brian, when you play for the Heat, hard work is what keeps you on the court. That is the truth. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. Boston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. And the Celtics call time here. One thing about the Heat, Smitty, they always seem to turn castaways into contributors. You're right, EA. So many undrafted players who have broken through in Miami. Credit the front office and coaching staff finding and developing those diamonds in the rough. Brogdon's checked in for Boston. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Tyler Hero comes in for Richardson. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Martin with a screen on Brown. Butler passes to Martin. Horford with some nice D. The Celtics have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Knocks it loose. Butler with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Heat. Martin outside. Back to Lowry. Butler on the wing. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Missoula as we begin the second half. Horford passes to Brown. Tatum with it. Three-pointer. That one doesn't drop. When Caleb Martin's on the floor, you know he's going to inject some energy into the team. And he's talked about that, Grant. He takes pride in being the guy that gives them a lift when they need it. It's terrific to have a guy set that example. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. The ball's knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Butler. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Shot clock at six. Horford, a screen on Hero. 
And the call will be against Tyler Hero. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. First team foul. Porzingis passes to Horford. And here's Brown. He's guarded by Hero. Look at Brown. Getting it done inside. A superb mid-range shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. Lowry with it. Now guarded by White. Hero outside. Pass to Adebayo. It's Martin on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. White, the pass to Tatum. Offline with a three. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Outside Porzingis. He drops it from range. And now a seven-point Boston lead. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. Here's Butler. Again, the heat misses. Oh, man, he hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. Back to White. And a bio with a steal. To the middle. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Smart playmaking by Kyle. Moving the ball to a guy with a good look. Tatum from long range. Adebayo grabs the board. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the floor of the offense, the whole team suffers. Martin outside. Puts up a three. Rebound Boston. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Brown passes to Porzingis. Horford inside. He's guarded by Lowry. Here's Porzingis. Yes! Great play by Horford to set him up for Miami. They trail by six. Two Martin with a screen on Tatum. And here's Butler outside. And the Heat, another three. Confidence of Jimmy Butler. One of his great... Butler against White. Charity stripe shot. Here's Adebayo. And he lays it up and in. And it's now just a one-point Boston. And he's also added some finesse. Williams finds Brown to the inside. Here's Porzingis. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Now put on Martin. Good man. <laughs> the defender really went after him. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for White. And so he hits both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Robinson on the wing, still without a bucket. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Bryant pulls it down. Here's Richardson. Money from 17 feet out. Richardson. Richardson's got five now. With great length for his position, Josh Richardson rising above. And then it's Jovic in at the three spot. Pass to Jovic. Here's Richardson. Guarded by Brogdon. And stolen by Williams. Here's Tatum. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got four assists now tonight. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Boston. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands causing a lot of steals. And also attacking in transition has been working for them. I mean, I mean credit them for running the break well and be opportunity. Can hit that one. Check mark in favor of Josh Richardson. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Lowry. Tatum, a screen on Love. Williams passes to Brogdon. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Miami trailing. Lowry outside. Pass to Jovic. Outside Richardson. 
That three's off the mark. The Celtics have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. And stolen by Adebayo. Outside for Love. It's stolen by Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Now here's Williams. Tatum from long range. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Checked in for Brogdon. And it's White in for Pritchard. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. And Allie, thanks. Tatum passes to Horford. The kick out to White. From downtown. Offensive board. Yeah, after all these years as a pro, Horford still plays with fire. Some second chance points there for Big Al. Lowry finds Butler. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Chris Thompson Porzingis picks one up. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Shooting for Miami. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Very surprising. He couldn't capitalize on those shots. You don't see that often. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Horford pulls it in. The Celtics have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Pass to Porzingis. 13 feet out. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got a seventh rebound here tonight. Hero, the pass to Adebayo. Butler with the ball. Five on the clock. Lowry outside. Again, the Heat misses. Boston's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Tatum with it. Guarded by Adebayo. Hero against Tatum. Hey, strong move, Tatum. And watch how Tatum navigates the contact. Just one of the many go-to moves for him in the paint. Adebayo, a screen on Tatum. Butler passes to Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Assist. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Tatum looking it over. And it's Jimmy Butler with the foul. Jimmy. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. First team foul. There's a minute 40 left in the final quarter. You just can't take that shot with Bam Adebayo on you. His reach is off the charts. Here's Butler. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First free throw is good. And that narrows the gap to seven. Butler hits them both. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. The Celtics have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. And there's Warford on the assist by Brown. And he can still look like he's feeling the pressure at all. And here's Brown for three. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Every moment counts here. They have got to get moving. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. Hero for three. Warford pulls it in. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. And here's Butler outside. He connects. Jimmy. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. You need a big basket, you turn to Jimmy Butler. He's the first option in their offense. And he buries it. And it's Lewis Zingas at 7-3. A monster to go to late in the game. Hero outside. Pass to Butler. Shoots over Tatum. Butler can't get it to go. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Hero. Third personal foul. Second team foul. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like the Staps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. 
17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, nails the triple! Gigantic bucket from Butler. Closed the door on that shot. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Oh, he knocked down the trifecta. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. This is when they need it the most. So they're so close to evening this game up. At the line for two, Derek White. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Big trip to the line for White. He could really help his team right now. And he's unable to get the second one. White with the steal. So it's a narrow victory for the Celtics, pulling it out for the W. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame every one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. A lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of poise, and uh, we'll be fine. Poise normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats.